Hi everyone, it's Alyssa and this is Always Cinema Chic, the place that encourages you to stay home, get dressed up, and watch a movie. So today I am reviewing the French horror movie Raw and it is exactly what you would expect a 1970s French horror movie to feel like if you ever thought about what that type of movie would feel like. Only this is a totally contemporary movie. It just got released on Blu-ray last week. Uh, so what starts out as a rather realistic film about a girl who's a vegan who gets just disgusted at the mere sight of meat turns into a little bit of a raunchy, bloody mess. And it's kind of fun, but it could have been better. So Raw stars Garance Melier and Ella Rumpf and is directed by Julia Ducournau in her first uh, full-length feature film. So this movie is definitely bloody good fun, I would say, but I really just didn't enjoy it as much as I expected. I found that the story had a really obvious one-note metaphor about the various awakenings we have when we are growing up, and I really wanted the film to be more abstract and have more metaphors, but it didn't go that much farther beyond just eating flesh and the idea that we all grow up someday. Uh, so the story starts out with Justine who is on the precipice of being a woman. She's just been accepted to veterinary school and she is immediately at the top of her class. She does really well. But then one night she's woken up and they start, all the rookies start getting hazed. And so all of the freshmen, rookies, whatever you want to call them, they uh, are forced to eat raw meat. So Justine's put in a situation where she's a vegan and she has to eat uh, these raw livers and then all of a sudden she starts to realize how much she really does like eating all of this meat. Do you see where the metaphor is going? Uh, so all of a sudden it feels like these raw chicken livers aren't quite enough for her anymore and she has to take it to the next level. So the movie doesn't really go much further in terms of what it's trying to say in its metaphor. And while the images are certainly disturbing and the movie can feel pretty uncomfortable, I thought at times, I never really found this movie scary. It was just kind of gross and awkward. It really does rely on the fact that eating raw meat is just kind of disgusting. And when we start to see Justine eating brains and fingers, I was thinking, yeah, this is kind of gross, but it's not that meaningful. Although I will admit that there was one scene that definitely got to me, and that's because I sort of have a thing with skin. Uh, and she ends up getting this rash, and so when she's at the nurse, the nurse is like peeling off these huge layers of skin, and I was definitely squirming in my seat. But at the same time, it was a another obvious metaphor. Justine is shedding her skin and she's becoming a new, more mature woman. It was like, okay, it's obvious. I get it. I thought it was going to be a little bit more just based on the reviews. I also felt that there were a lot of missed opportunities throughout the movie. So we were introduced to Alex, who's Justine's sister, and she also happens to be attending the same veterinary school. And I thought that Alice was going to be the key to creating some real family drama in the movie. And while she definitely throws a wrench into Justine's life, I never felt like the character was fully realized. In a way, I really felt like these two sisters were just archetypes. So Justine starts out as the innocent kind of girl and then she turns into a woman and then Alex represents the, the rebel and she really does try to help her sister in the best way that she knows how, but it never really went beyond the superficial for these characters. The one thing that I truly loved about this movie was the cinematography. I mean, this camera just kind of goes into some very uncomfortable places Places, and it doesn't shy away from certain shots like there are scenes where you're in a party and I just felt really claustrophobic watching the movie I felt like all of these people were just 
slammed up against me and I didn't know what to do. So in that sense, the movie is very visually appealing. And I think if you wanted to just see something that was beautiful looking, you would be very satisfied with wanting to, with, with watching this movie. Um, so I felt like in terms of those scenes, the integration of red through the film, throughout the film, uh, when Justine's unsatiated desire for meat becomes more and more intense is just beautiful. There is one gorgeous shot that is just enveloped in red, and when Justine walks down the hallway in the dorm, you just know that this is not going to end well for someone. I would watch this movie if you want to see images that will give you a real visceral reaction, but I might see or clear of it if you were looking for something with a bit more metaphor and emotional depth. If you were looking for that, I would probably recommend 2012's Kiss of the Dam. It's a movie that didn't really get good reviews. It actually has a 5.6 on IMDb while Raw has a 7.1, but I really like that Kiss of the Dam was about family drama and that it's still clear of some of the horror conventions. Plus, Kiss of the Dam feels much more stylized than Raw, so if you are going to go for that 1970s European trashy vampire movie style, then you might as well go all the way. And I just kind of felt like Raw didn't go all the way with that stylized atmosphere. So while it really did remind me of Kiss of the Damned in a, in a lot of ways, which is a movie about a woman who just happens to be a vampire who then gets her wild sister to drop on in on her life who also happens to be a vampire and then obviously chaos ensues. But I really enjoyed that movie and it's something that not a lot of people have seen. I would also really recommend this movie called High Tension which is also a French horror movie and it's about two girls who are best friends who are in a cabin for a weekend and they get visited by a stranger who uh, basically kidnaps them, but it's definitely a psychological thriller and I really enjoyed that movie as well. Now, I'm not saying that Raw is bad, I just wanted it to be a little more. It's gross, but it's not scary. Uh, it has metaphors, but it doesn't go as far with some of those abstract thoughts that I wanted. And it is good, it's enjoyable, uh, but it's it's maybe not what I wanted it to be. So in terms of film and artistry, I would give this movie a B- minus because it is beautifully shot and the premise is intriguing. I just thought it was the kind of movie that's a cool premise, but maybe it doesn't go as far with it as it could have gone. And then for watchability, for me, I would give this a C plus because I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I would, uh, but I did realize that there were a lot of beautiful filmic qualities to this movie. So if you saw Raw, I would love to hear what you have to say in the comments. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe you can, you know, expand my mind. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. You can, uh, maybe if you don't feel like watching Raw, you can watch Kiss of the Damned or High Tension. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button, please subscribe if you haven't already. And remember, uh, it is always in fashion to stay at home, get dressed up, and watch a movie. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!